In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving grouped frequency tables for instance. I'm not going to this video, you'll be able to deal with problems involving grouped frequency tables for mass exam under statistics. Now, this is very important. So ensure you stay at the very end of this video. I right, shall so know that let's go into the details of the video. Let me bring this grouped frequency table I have here as example we used to explain the idea or concept behind it. All right, so let me get the table. Okay, guys, now let's look at this question for grouped frequency table statistics question. Now, the question says, a table opposite, which is this table, shows information about the weight in kilograms of 60 school children. I have to write down the model class, write down the class containing the median. Calculate an estimate for the mean weight. Estimate the range of weights. All right. Now, for grouped frequency tables, they group together the data into classes, unlike your ordinary frequency table. Now, once again, you need to take notes about this group frequency table is that by the time we get to finding the mean, we need to get the mean interval value. When we get to the mean, I'll show you how to do that. But let's begin with the question A part of it. All right, now it says write down the model class as usual. Model that's the mode. Model class will be the highest occurring frequency. That's the value occurring the most. All right, so when you check this group frequency table we have here, the model class will be we have the highest occurring frequency here is. 18 does the weight under 18 is this weight you have here so the model class will be 50 is less than w that's weight less than or equal to what 60. all right so that will be the model class 50 is less than w less than or equal to what 60. now for the we also for the b part of it we also write down the class containing the median all right, so as usual, for the median, we are going to make use of this formula n plus 1 divided by what 2. Okay, so our n is the summation of the frequency, that's our sigma f will be. So when you add everything here together and punch in the calculator, you are going to have it to be 60. So we have 60 here. So this will give us now 60 plus 1. When you add this one here, 60 plus 1 is 61 over 2. Uh, 61 over 2 will give us 30.5. So that means we're going to check for these frequency values we have. The ones we'll be adding, the value that will give us a result that is in between 30.5 there are about so 8 plus 16 will give us 24 all right 24 plus 18 will give us 42 all right so you can see that is this frequency value of 18 that when you add 8 and 16 to it it will give you a result that is between 30.5 there are about all right so 42 is more than 30.5 so this shows us that the median for this group frequency table will still be this results we still be here so we have the weights to be this so the median will still be 50 is less than the weights less than equals to what 60 okay so that will be the median value for this group frequency table okay now for the c part of it it says calculate an estimate for the mean weight all right now for the mean remember our mean we're going to make it a sigma fs over sigma f and uh, we don't have the mid interval value which is our x all right so for the mean you're going to make use of you're going to need mid interval value of x is from there you get your sigma fs all right, so to get your mid interval value of x, all you have to do is to 
add the values at both a string of the weight okay and divide by two so to get the mean interval value of s all you have to do is to add together the end values of the class and divide by two all right so let's begin with the end values of the class here the first class we have here that's 30 and 40 so 30 plus 40 divided by 2 we're going to have it to be 35 okay now this one will be 40 plus 50 divided by 2 we're going to have it to be 45 this one will be 50 plus 60 divided by 2 we are going to have it to be 55 all right this one will be 60 plus 70 divided by 2 we are going to have it to be 65 okay this one will be 70 plus 80 divided by 2 we're going to have it to be 75 okay now to get our fx this code will be our fx so our fx will be to multiply the mid interval x with the frequency values respectively so 35 times 8 when you punch it we're going to have it to be 280 okay now 45 times 16 when you punch it you're going to have it to be 720 okay now 55 times 18 when you punch it you're going to have it to be 990 okay now 65 times 12 when you punch it you're going to have it to be 780 okay now lastly 75 times 6 when you punch you're going to have it to be 450 all right so our sigma fs will be we add everything together we're going to have it to be in point sheet 3220 all right so this will be our sigma fs so we can use it now to get the mean for this good frequency table let me wipe somewhere and complete this solution okay so our mean weights will be sigma fs over sigma f which will give us 3220 right over 60. to cancel this so 322 divided by six when you punch it in the calculator you are going to have it to be 53.6666 you keep having repeating decimals of six so to leave it in three significant figures it's going to give us 53 point seven all right so that would be the answer to this question and lastly we asked to estimate the range of weights okay now to estimate the range of weight as usual range is the highest minus the lowest so for this group frequency table it's going to be the difference between the highest and the lowest class bandwidth all right so the highest class boundary here is what 80 that's this 80 we have here and the lowest class boundary we have here is what 30 so the range will be 80 minus 30 which will give us what 50 kg all right so put the units of this one the units of this one is kg kilogram okay so this is basically how you can deal with problems involving group frequency table just know that for group frequency tables they group together the data into classes just like these weights we have here these are the classes for these weights okay guys so that will be all for this video no parties question for you the main thing for you to understand the concept of the idea hope there's something interesting from this video now if you are new to the channel sure you check the description of the video below for link to our telegram channel click on it and join the telegram channel for instant notifications also ensure you are subscribed to this channel by hitting the subscribe button for more videos like this like share and comment on this video tell me how you feel from what i learned from this class if you seem to have any specific questions to ask regarding this group frequency tables under statistics Feel free to be a question in the comment section below and I will show 
to give you a response. Now click on the answer group and we'll see you in next video. Thanks for watching.